It is a great day and we are happy to be with you. Praise the Lord. Thank you for being with us. And please stay. Tumahan niyo po kami and we believe that we can receive greater things from God. Pwede tayo tumanggap ng mga dakilang mga bagay mula sa Panginoon. If we will just fix our words. Kung babantayan mo lang bibig mo, maraming pagpapalang pwede dumating. Nakakatawang pakinggan. Sounds funny. But your words matter. Our topic for today is... Your words matter. You may know it or not. I mean, alam mo man yung hindi, namumuhay tayo sa word-created and word-dominated universe. Ulitin ko, word-created and word-dominated universe. Ano ibig sabihin ng pastor? It just means this word responds to our words. I mean, pasinin nyo, in the beginning, when God created the heaven and earth, I mean, The scripture says that the earth was formless. Walang laman. Amen? Empty and dark. Ano nangyari? Bakit may pagbabago? Then God spoke the word and said, Let there be light and there was light. Genesis 1 verse 3. Pansin ninyo, nagsalita ang Diyos, may nangyari. Amen? God repeatedly ginawa ng Panginoon yung paulit-ulit. Amen? What He wants and it happened until He created everything sa paanong paraan? By His words. So, if you notice, everything na meron sa mundong ito, Amen? It was been brought out, brought forth by faith-filled words. Salitang puno ng pananampalataya. Okay. Ano implikasyon natin yan? It just means that God designed this world. Linika ng Diyos ang buong mundong ito and the whole universe to respond to faith-filled words. Amen? From the beginning and the truth will never go going to change. Mula sa paumpisa hanggang ngayon at hindi magbabago yun that this world will respond to what you are saying. Especially if it is faith-filled word. Okay. Kaya ano nga yung sinasabi ng Panginoon sa atin? What God is reminding us. Amen? Okay? What the Lord wants us to know from this. Tatandaan niyo to. Your words matter. Napakahalaga ng yung mga sinasabi. Because there is power in your words. Amen? Hallelujah. Alam niyo yung statement na nakaka-excite. Amen? Nag-excite yan. Amen? It excites me because... There is God's power at work in our every spoken words. May kapangyarihan ng Diyos na gumagawa sa bawat sinasabi natin. Amen? Okay? Remember this. The Lord brings to my remembrance that when God created man, pansinan niyo to, He does not only form man from the dust. Hindi siya kumuwala ng dust at, amen, linika. Man, kung babasa niyo Genesis 2:7, man, sabi doon the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground. Anong sumunod na ginawa ng Diyos after he formed niya? He breathed the breath of life into the man's nostril and the man becomes living person. If you notice, the breath that gives sounds the spoken words of God, amen. Okay, pasinin niyo ulitin ko. Yung hininga na nagbigay ng tunog sa sinasabi ng Panginoon that created the whole universe is the same breath we still take today. Hininga ng Diyos ang tao sa ilong at yun pa rin ang hiningang meron tayo ngayon that is our spirit working in us today. Amen. Glory to God. And that breath that produce sounds to create the whole universe is the same breath we have today. Hallelujah. So, there's so much power working in our words. Amen? That the words we speak comes with power from God. Okay? Take note of this. Words are not just sounds. Okay? Kasi akala natin minsan, yung mga sinasabi natin, tunog lang yan just to communicate. Amen? Just to hear something. But more than you know, your word comes with power. It comes with power. Hallelujah. And they are life. Buhay yan. Sabi nga ni Jesus, the spirit gives life and the flesh counts for nothing. 
the words I have spoken to you, sabi ni Jesus, are spirit and they are life. John chapter 6 verse 63. So, the power of God that created everything, lahat ng nilikha ng Panginoon, is the same power operating in us in our mouth. Amen? Okay, remember, your words have a creating power. Hallelujah! Woo! Praise the Lord! Amen? Yung mga sinasabi mo, kayang lumikha. Amen? You call things in your life by your words. Kaya nga, yung napakahalaga, yung, yung sinasabi. Because what you say is what you create. Kaya kung anong sinasabi mo sa buhay mo, yun ang nangyayari because that is something you create in your life. When you speak negative things, when you speak those doubts, those fears, you are creating those things in your life. But when you speak blessing, when you speak life, and when you speak the glory of God, you create those things in your life. Kaya ang team natin na pag-aaralan today is how to activate the miracle or the power of God in your mouth. So let us read our scripture. Amen. In Matthew, in Matthew chapter 17 verse 20. That's one verse only. Okay, sa Tagalog Mateo chapter 17 verse 20. Let us read it. Ano sabi dito? Sumagot siya. Sabi ni Jesus Christ. Dahil sa maliit ng inyong pananampalataya, tandaan ninyo, kung kayo ay may pananampalataya sa Diyos na sinlaki ng buto ng mustasa, Maari ninyong sabihin sa bundok nito lumipat ka roon at ito ay lilipat na. Tunay na walang bagay na hindi ninyo magagawa. Praise God. For nothing will be impossible to you. Praise God. Let's pray. Father God in heaven, guide us Lord by your words. Fill us by your glory. And Lord, let us learn Lord to handle our words. To keep our mouth in accordance to your words. Holy Spirit, fill us your glory that we may learn that our words matters. That there is miracle in our mouth. There is power of God to create mighty things in every words that we speak. Holy Spirit, be with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So ngayon, sasagutin natin. Paano ba natin i-activate yung power ng Diyos sa buhay natin? As we speak things. How to activate the miracle in your mouth. This is number one. It's a very important thing that we need to learn. That we need to move your believing into speaking. Ulitin ko. You need to move your believing into speaking. Ibig sabihin po noon, kung ikay naniniwala, ikaw ay magsasalita. Sabi ng verse 20. Sabi ni Jesus, I tell you the truth, if you have faith, even as a small as mustard seed, you could say to this mountain. Kasi nang, if you have faith, you can say. If you have faith, you can say. So, believing, paniniwala, ay mahalaga. Amen? But if you want to see the fulfillment ng mga pinangako ng Diyos sa buhay mo, hindi ka pwede huminto sa paniniwala lang. You need to step up your faith. And one way to step up your faith is you start speaking. You start saying things. You start declaring what you are believing. Amen? Alam niyo po, pag nakikinig tayo ng salita ng Diyos. Amen? Okay? Faith grows. Napakahalaka yan. Okay? Very important step po yan when we are going to receive from God. Pero hindi yun ang dulo. Okay? Madalas yung naririnig, faith comes from hearing and hearing the Word of God. So, if you have the Word of God, if you have faith, you need to release your faith. Meron ka na eh. I mean, parang sa banko, nagpasok ko ng pera. May pera ka na. But what is the use of money if it is in the bank? <laughs> Dama? So, paano gagamitin yung pera sa banko? You need to withdraw it. Same. I mean, you have deposited the Word of God in your heart. It builds faith. And how to release that faith, and you need to release that faith in your heart by saying those words in your mouth, with your mouth. You need to speak. Kaya nga yung heart natin, bangko yan. Diyan din deposit ang salita ng Diyos. At in, when you deposit it, it develops faith. Amen? And your mouth is the place where you release your faith. Amen? 
to bring result. Kaya mahalaga, kung ikay naniniwala, magsasalita ka. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Sinabi ka ni Jesus, maliwala nga tinuro ni Jesus. If you have faith, you could say, in Matthew 17 verse 20, kung may pananampalataya ka, sasabihin mo. Amen? It sounds unfamiliar sa totoo lang. Amen? Kasi madalas, we, what we do is, what you think, you say. What you feel, you say. What you want, you say. But if you want to receive from God, this is a very important wisdom na ibibigay ng Diyos. You need to speak your faith, what you believe, what God wants you to do for you. Amen? Alam nyo, yan kasi yung paraan ng Panginoon. That's God's way for you to receive everything, including every miracle sa pinangako na including every promises of God. You need to speak your faith. Amen? Hindi pwede palaging, wala, wala, wala. Dapat meron, may parating. Amen? Romans 10, 10, sabi, For it is by believing in your heart that you are made right with God, and it is by confessing with your mouth that you were saved. So, ang liwanag. Amen? Maliwanag. Na kapag ikay naniwala una sa puso, Amen? Ang susunod dun is you confessing your mouth. Parang ikaw, nung si Jesus Christ ay pinaniwalaan mo, anong una mong ginawa? Pinaniwalaan mo sa puso mo. Then you say in your mouth that Jesus is the Lord of your life. See? That is the system of God. And it works in everything. It works in your salvation. It will work in your healing. It will work in your prosperity. It will work in every desire that you have. If you believe, you speak of it. Remember, everything you receive from God comes as a result of your believing and speaking of the Word of God. Amen? Amen. Ang tawag na natin dyan ay law of confession. O tinatawag natin, the power of declaration. Maaring narinig na, narinig nyo na palagi yan. Kaya, kaya kung if you notice to, okay, yung pagsasalita ay kasing importante ng paniniwala. Ulitin ko yon. Kapag ikaw ay naniniwala, kailangan mong magsalita. Because ang Diyos nilikha niya ang universe. Amen? Sa pamamagitan ng salita. And the whole universe responded to the word of God. Sabi na parang, let there be light. Pansinin niyo ha, lumabas ang liwanag pero walang araw. Because the sun and the moon was created in the fourth day. But the universe responded and produces light. Because God said it. God declares, amen, the word filled with faith. Same, kahit walang source, when you speak, it can happen. Hallelujah! Amen? Sabi niyo, walang dadaluya ng pagpapala. Ben, when you speak, blessing, blessing will come. Yung liwanan nga, dumating eh. Wala namang bu walang buwan, walang araw. Amen? That could be a source of, of the light. But light comes. Same, kahit walang source, when you speak, that it can happen. Amen? Sabi nga na si Corinthians chapter 4, verse 13, Yet we have the same spirit of faith as he had who wrote. Sabi doon, I have believed, therefore I have spoken. Pansinin yun, pag ikay naniwala, you speak. We to believe, therefore we speak. Sabi ng Psalms 116 verse 10. Amen? Okay? It's the same reference. So everything you believe, Amen? God expect you. Amen? Umaasa ang Panginoon na sasabihin mo yan. Amen? Kaya nga kung negatibo tumatak mo sa isip mo, I tell you, don't say it. Amen? If you doubt, don't say it. If you don't feel alright, don't say it. Say what you want to see. Faith in your heart and words in your mouth is essential in bringing miracles sa buhay natin. Tsaka mga pangako ng Diyos sa buhay natin. Kaya mahalaga yan. Kung naniniwala ka, sasabihin mo. Kaya nga kung gusto nyo matapos lahat ang krisis sa buhay nyo, matapos lahat ang problema, amen? Yung mga bagay na salita na puno ng takot, ba, mga, sali, mga salitang puno ng pagduruda, salita na puno ng sumpa, amen? Yung sinasalita mo, kawawa, wait that, binubura mo yan sa vocabulary mo, wala, mahirap, imposible. Those words should be not be spoken, should be not heard from your mouth. Because you're cursing your life. I mean, don't put, don't put life on those things by speaking what you fear. 
Alam niyo po ba, yung mga kinakatakutan niyo, nagkakaroon niyo ng buhay pag sinasabi niyo sa bibig ninyo. Kaya imbis na sinasabi niyo mga bagay na kinakatakutan niyo, sabihin niyo yung mga bagay na gusto niyo makita. Kahit ito imposible, sabihin ninyo. Kasi binibigyan mo ng buhay ang mga bagay na imposible when you start speaking it. You are allowing God to work in your life when you start speaking those words. Kaya nga, when God created the universe by, the, by His words, imposible. ba? Diba? Pero nangyari. Amen? Katulad kaya sa atin din, we need to imitate God. Amen? Sabi nga ng word, you imitate God, therefore, in everything you do, because you are His dear children. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 1. We need to imitate. Amen? Kaya sa buhay na ito, kung mahirap, eh, kung pala ang sinasabing mahirap, sa so, sinasabing, sasagana. Amen? Hallelujah! Kung wala ka ngayon pera, huwag siya sabihin wala. Sabihin mo may parating. Amen? Hallelujah! Amen? Kung wala ka pa rin asawa, sabi mo tatanda kang binata, dalaga, huwag ganun. Sabi mo, may parating asawa in Jesus' name. Amen? Kung may sakit ka, huwag sinasabi mo, hindi ka nagagaling. You need to declare, I'm, I'm healthy, I will recover, I will live long. Bukang imposible. Even in science, it may look impossible. Your doctor says it could be impossible. But when you speak it with faith and believe in God and His words, in His words, it can happen. Miracle happens when you learn to activate the power of God in your mouth. Okay, remember, okay? Words in your mouth that is filled with faith, puno ng pananampalataya, activates, I mean, spiritual law, I mean, that are dependable. I mean, yan ang sistema ng Diyos na palaging mangyayari. Kasi yan ang tinuro ni Jesus. Even in tough times, we need to speak what we want to see. We need to speak what we believe. And man, huminto tayo, we need to stop speaking doubts and fears and curse. Kaya miracle happens when you speak your faith. Kaya kung ikaw naniniwala, ay nako, sinasabi ko na sa'yo, tawakin mo na. Amen? You call, you speak. Parang anak mo. Amen? May anak ka. Si, si John and si Shelev. Wala rin. Amen? And if you want to call Shelev, amen, hindi mo tatawagin si, hindi, pag tinawag mo si Shelev, hindi naman si John ang darating. Si Shelev pa rin. Amen? Same with us. Amen? Same sa buhay natin. Amen? Kung ano tinatawag mo sa buhay mo, yun ang darating. Kaya, you, you need to move your believing into speaking. If naniniwala ka, sabihin mo sa iyong bibi. Okay? You need to watch your words. Second, renew your words by God's word. Sa so verse 20, ulitin ko, we need to renew our words by God's word. Kasi minsan, pilipit yung ating mga dila. Amen? Nagsasalita lang tayo sa mga bagay na gusto nating Nakikita natin, nararamdaman natin Kailangan natin baguhin yung ating sinasabi Kung gusto mo mabago ang iyong buhay Sabi ni Jesus, you can say to this mountain Move from here to there and it will move So yung salita natin ay napakahalaga Pero, kaya nga pasinin nyo Kung mahalaga ang salita natin We need to properly train our words Kasi kapag ang salita natin ay hindi na-train, yan ay dangerous and that is even deadly. Amen? Kasi kung palagi mo sinasabing mamamatay, kaya mangyayari yan. Sinasabi mo palagi magkakasakit ka, mangyayari yan. Amen? Because your words has power. Amen? And this universe, this body responds to what you are saying. This is the common problem bakit marami nag-fail to receive God. Receive from God. Sabi nila, bakit ang Diyos nangako, ba't di ko tinatanggap? Because they have neglected the word of God. Okay? Naiwan nila ang salita ng Diyos. Tandaan nyo to, hindi ka makapagsalita ng may authority without the basis of faith. Because faith comes from the word of God. Magkaduktong yan. Amen? Mahirap magkaroon ng pananampalataya kung walang salita ng Diyos. At mahirap pagsalita ng tama kapag walang pananampalataya. Magkakaruptong yan. Kaya sabi nga Romans 10.17, That is faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. So, para makapagsalita ka na may kumpiyansa, na may power, kailangan mo magbasa at mag-aral ng salita ng Diyos. I mean, that is our part. God will do His part and you need to do your part. You need to renew what you say by the word of God. Kaya nga yung ating, uh, yung ating salita, 
ay God's word ay isang spiritual food. Amen. Itong salita ng Diyos ang tawag natin spiritual food because it feeds our faith and make it strong. Kapag malakas na pananampalataya mo, kaya mo magsalita with confidence. Amen. 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 So kaya nga kapag yung faith mo falters, amen. Kulari may problema ka sa pananampalataya, nagkakaroon ka rin ng problema sa pagsasalita. Kaya kapag ang sinasabi mo punong-puno ng negatibo, imposible, parang mahirap, hindi niya ata makaahon. Ang kulang, alam nyo, is faith. Kulang ng Word of God. Kaya nga, if you want to change, okay, your words, you need to train it by the Word of God. Amen? Kaya nga, madali makita it. At, you know, this is very important. Kapag hindi mo na-train yung dila mo sa salita ng Diyos, dangerous siya. Kasi without knowing, sinusumpa mo ang buhay mo. Minsan ako'y pumunta sa palengke sabi ko doon sa isang tendera, Kamusta po kayo dito? Kamusta po ang negosyo ngayon? Simple lang sinabot niya. Ito nga eh, sabi niya eh, ang tumal-tumal. Halos walang bumili. Okay, pansinin niyo. Totoo, yun ang realidad. Walang bumibili at matumal. But you are speaking without, his, without knowing it, sinusumpa niya yung kanilang negosyo na walang bumibili at matumal. Because what he what she calls, it will come. Nakuha niyo yung, yung, yung importanteng reasoning na yun, na wisdom ng Diyos. Kung anong tinatawag mo yung darating. Kaya even though that is the reality na matumal, ay eh dapat pag sinisinasabi mo yung mga bagay na gusto mo makita. At ang dapat mo makita, ay to, amen, paganda ng paganda, mauubos lahat yan. Amen? Mauubos lahat yan at kikita. Hallelujah! Kaya nga, para mangyari yan, you need to renew your words by the Word of God. Ha? Hindi pwedeng baguhin yung sinasabi mo na walang basehan. Kaya kailangan ng salita ng Diyos. Okay? Your words will be filled with hope, power, authority kapag nag-umpisa kang bumalik sa salita ng Diyos. At yung mga bagay na ito ang magkikreate. Amen? Will create your expected result and miracles. Sabi nga ng Luke 6 verse 45, the good man brings good things out of a good stored up in his heart. Sabi sa ibang salita, okay, yung mabuting tao raw, eh may, kung anong tinago mo sa puso mo, yun ang lumalabas sa bibig. Evil man brings evil things out of his evil stored in his heart. For the all overflow of the heart, his mouth speaks. Kung ano raw kapunoan nito, lalabas sa bibig. Kaya nga, kapag ito'y puno ng takot, fear, doubts, lumalabas sa bibig yan. And what you call will happen. Kaya nga para maayos ang puso, lagyan ng salita ng Diyos. Kapag narinig natin salita ng Diyos, pumasok sa puso, maayos ang puso, pag lumabas ang, pu- salit- ang nagsalita ka, lalabas sa bibig mo rin, ay mga bagay na puno ng pananampalataya. Amen? That is as one. Hindi pwede maghiwahiwalay yan. Kaya nga, what you put in your heart comes out in your, ha- in your mouth. Kaya pag pinunong mo ng galit yan, lumalabas puro galit sa bibig. Kapag pinunong mo ng pag-ibig yan, lumalabas puro pag-ibig. Kapag pinunong mo salita ng Diyos, ang puso mo lalabas ay ang salita ng Diyos. And when you call things, power come. The power of God comes because it's filled with faith. Amen? Kaya nga, lahat na meron sa puso mo will manifest in your mouth. Kaya napakahalaga na tayo'y nakababad sa salita ng Diyos. Para tayong alam niyo yun, no? Alam niyo yung pag magbabarbecue kayo, di ba? When you do your barbecue, you marinate the pork or the chicken overnight. Why? Para masipsip. Amen? Para mag-sink in yung mga herbs or what you put up there inside the meat. And when you cook it, it will be juicy and delicious. Same. Kailangan din tayo marinated din tayo ng salita ng juice. Para when you speak, power of God flows. Amen? Kaya nga, sa buhay natin ito, hinahamin ko sa inyo, there is no greater way to train a mouth but to train it by the Word of God. Remember that. Walang ibang paraan na ma-train ang bibig na to na magsalita ng puno ng pananampalataya kundi sa pamamagitan lang ng salita ng Diyos. Kaya today, okay, dumadaan man kayo sa krisis, Okay, problema, financial, kalusugan, you need to train your mouth to speak the word of God. Amen? You need to train. 
Amen. In times, kulari, pastor, hindi ko alam dapat kung sabihin. Amen. Amen. Kung hindi mo alam ang dapat mong sabihin, ito lang simple. Tumahimik ka. Don't say empty words. Rather declare that God will do what He said. Amen. Kaya nga, if you feel sick, Amen. Huwag mo sinasabi, ay, magkakasakit ako. Don't declare that. Rather speak the word of God. Psalms 91, With long life, you will satisfy me and give me salvation. Hallelujah, di ba? No deadly diseases shall come my tent. Hallelujah. The Lord is, is my refuge and my shelter. Amen. Kaya nga, sa buhay na ito, I challenge you. Amen. We need to train our mouth by the word of God. And if your words are not straight right now, if you speak curses, blasphemy, or what else you need to return in the word, renew that word because there's power in the word of God. Amen. There's power in your words. Alam nyo po, ang buhay natin mababago when we learn to activate the word power inside us. Amen. When you start activating it. Kaya, I challenge you. You continuously read your scripture. Study it. Amen. Sabi niya, Pastor, memorize ko naman eh. Oh, okay, okay. It's good to memorize verse. Okay? Very useful yan. Pag nagtuturo, tsaka pag may spiritual battle, eh? you're quoting the word of God. When you pray, you're quoting the word of God. Very powerful yan. Kaya hindi ko minamasama yan. It's good. But kahit familiar ka na dyan, this is the challenge. You need still to study and read the Word of God. You need to still. Ito, bigyan kayo yung example. Pag kayo kumakain ng fried chicken, okay, it is good to remember the appearance. So, imagine ninyo yung appearance ng fried chicken. Imagine ninyo yung taste ng fried chicken. Di ba masarap? Oo. <laughs> uh, it gives you delight. Pansinin nyo nga lang ngayong mangga, imagine mo lang, kinakagat mo lang, nangangasim ka na eh. Amen? Pansin niyo. But it gives more delight kapag actually mo kinakain yan. Diba? Mas masarap pag actual mo kinakain. Same. I mean, hindi naman sa mag-memorize sa ulado mo lang ng verses sa scripture. It's not bad. It's a, it's a blessing. But we don't stop there. We need continuously read and meditate those words even though you know it, you know where's the verses. I mean, I mean it's... It's it's good to remember, but it's much delightful if you eat it. Amen? Para sa pagkain, you eat it. Same, you need to properly feed yourself with the Word of God. Sabi nga ng Proverbs 4, 20 to 22, My son, attend to my words. Incline thy ears unto your saying. Let those depart at your heart. Keep it in the midst of your heart, for they are life unto those who find them and health to their body. So sabi ni Silver, attend to my words. Ibig sabihin, attend, present ka. So, kailangan ka palang present sa salita ng Diyos. Amen? In your ears, in your eyes, in your heart. Because it will bring life and health to those who put time on. Kaya, I don't mean to be hard with you. Amen? Hindi ko naman pinapahirapan kayo. But this is the God system. Kaya, if, kung gusto niyo makuha yung beneficyo of, amen, you need to be in the system. Parang kayo, pag kayo nagpapalusog, di ba nag exercise kayo, kumakain kayo ng tamang nutrition. Men, meron kayo sinusunod na sistema para lalong lumusog. You go in the system to get the benefit of it. Same sa buhay din natin. Amen? If you want to get what God has said, you need to be in the system. Amen? That is how it works. Kaya hinahamon ko kayo. Be in the system of God. Amen? So, as you train your words by the word of God, magkakaroon kayo ng kumpiyansa. And when you speak these things up in your heart, amen, mighty things will happen dahil mayroong kumpiyansa. You are confident na yung sinasabi mo, kalooban ng Diyos at gusto ng Diyos. Kasi yun ang mahalaga. Kasi minsan mahirap magdeklara kapag hindi mo alam kung naisin talaga ng Diyos. But if you know it's the will of God, you just speak it, it will happen. In Jesus, mighty name. Sabi nga nung Mark 11, verse 22, sabi, I tell you the truth, if anyone of you says to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believe in his heart, but believes that what he say will happen, it will be done. Pasin ninyo, believe na niwala ka sa sinabi mo, mangyayari at mangyayari nga. 
Kasi, Chief, you notice, we need to have confidence sa mga sinasabi mo. Amen? At kapag may kumpiyansa ka, that is the will of God, is, okay, it will happen. Kaya nga, that confidence, yung kumpiyansa, it starts when you train yourself in the Word of God. Kaya if you, if, if, if you know what God wants, alam mo yung kalooban ng Diyos, eh, madali yung kumpiyansa, ma-develop na yan. Amen? Because you know that is the will of God. When you're precious, kapag dumating mga problema, precious sa buhay natin, amen? Alam niyo po, madali mong sabihin yung gusto ng Diyos. Because you know what the Word of God says. You declare it. Kaya nga, remember, faith is designed to operate in God's Word. So, stay in the Word of God until you, be, you, until you believe in your heart that what you say will happen. Kaya uulitin ko, ang pananampalataya at salita ng Diyos ay magkahalaga. Kaya you need to develop it by feeding the Word of God consistently. Kaya kailangan natin i-renew yung ating sinasabi sa pamamagitan ng salita ng Diyos, sa pamamagitan ng pagbabasa at pagbemeditate ng Scripture. So that's number two. To release, okay? to receive the miracle in your mouth, the power of God in what you say. Number one, move your believing into speaking. Number two, renew your words by God's word. And last, you need to choose light-filled words. This is what I'm saying. Sabi sa verse 20, Say to this mountain, move from there to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. Matthew 17 verse 20, yun sa last part. Okay? Alam nyo po to, alam nyo matindi, mahalaga yung sinasabi mo. Kaya nga, huwag ka lang nagsasabi nang hindi ka nag-iisip. Amen? Kasi nga, to be honest, anak ka ng Diyos eh. Yung mga sinasabi mo, it's back by the power of God. Especially kung na kay Jesus ka. Amen? Kaya nga, kung ikay magsasalita, choose life-filled words. Kulari, bibigyan ko kayo ngayon. Isang example. Kulari, ang Lord lalabas sa harap at sabihin sa'yo, o oh, lahat ng sasabihin mo mangyayari. Siguro magiging maingat ka sa pagsasalita. Hindi ka magsasalita siguro ng mga negatibo at mga pangit kasi lahat ng sasabihin mo mangyayari. That is what I am saying. Yung sinasabi mo, sinasabi ng Lord na mangyayari. Kaya nga mag-ingat ka sa mga sinasabi mo. Don't just speak anything you like or you feel. Amen? If you speak according to your emotion, it is dangerous. Kaya huwag mong siya salita ng mga bagay na masyadong emosyonal. Kasi pwede mo masumpa ang buhay mo unnoticely. So, kapag wala kang magandang sasabihin, <laughs> Amen? This is very important word. If you don't have nothing good to say, don't speak. Shut up. <laughs> Amen? Tumahimik ka. Speak only in accordance with the word of God. Napakahalaga kasi yung ating mga sinasabi. At bibigyan ko ng isang example. Bakit napakahalaga? Sabi sa Hebrew chapter 3 verse 1, Therefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle. And the high priest of our confession, Christ Jesus, sa New King James Version. Okay, isa-isa natin. Pag sinabi si Jesus ay apostle and high priest over our confessions, hatiin natin yan. Pag sinabi nating apostle, it is sent by God. So, Jesus is sent by God. High priest is minister. In other words, is minister. Or in other words, yan ay administrator. Confession, yan yung mga sinasabi mo. Kaya kung bubuin mo yan, okay, si Jesus is anointed with God's power. Kaya pag pinagbuo-buo mo yan, you will know that Jesus is anointed and sent by God to serve as administrator over what we say. Jesus is the administrator of what you say. When you speak things, Jesus was watching over your words. Amen? At kapag ang sinasabi mo, align sa salita ng Diyos, He will get it on it and make sure that it will happen. Because Jesus is our high priest. Sana nakuha niyo yun. Amen? Kaya nga, si Jesus, if Jesus is watching your words, binabantay ni Jesus yung sabi mo, speak words that is worthy for Jesus. So, I tell you, speak words that 
are worthy, that is worthy for Jesus. Sabi ng Proverbs 13, verse 2 and 3, A man shall eat well by the fruit of his mouth. He who guards his mouth preserves his life, but he opens wide his lips shall have destruction. Kung binabantayan daw natin yung ating bibig, amen? You will be saved. You will be out of danger. Amen? Because your words could preserve you or destroy you. So if you have nothing good to say, learn the vocabulary of silence. Shut up that mouth. Amen? Because that mouth will bring you to those problems. Tumahimik ka na lang. Kaya nga, sa buhay na ito, I am challenging you. Okay? Sabi ng scripture, si Satanas is like a roaring lion. Nagahanap siya ng masira. Okay? Kaya nga, stop saying useless words. Stop declaring curse. Stop declaring death. Stop criticizing. Amen? Bala, rather, stop, speak love. The word of God that will change the situation. Kasi, kung ano sinasabi mo, yan ang darating. Kaya, we need to speak in according to the word of God. Mukha kang, mukha mang kakaiba ka, amen, sa iba, but because, madalas kasi ang tao, kasi nagsasalita siya, base sa kanyang pakiramdam eh, base sa kanyang nakikita, amen, sabi nga nila, sabi nga, ano, sabi nga nila, kapag mahina ka, di sabi mo mahina ka, pag di mo kaya, di sabi mo di mo kaya, if they are in need, they talk about their needs, if they are hurt, they talk about their emotions, pero as believers, this is very important. This way, we are to do the different. Pasinin nyo to. Joel 3.10 Let the weak say, I am strong. So that is different. Amen? Madalas, when you are weak, you say you are weak. But the scriptures say, when you weak, say you are strong. You say the opposite. Sabi nila ba, eh pasto, para naman kami nagsisilungaling dyan. Totoo naman, mahina ako eh. Nangihina ako eh. Kaya nga, pag ikaw nanginga, speak that you're strong. Sabi na, Pastor, dinideny naman natin katotohanan. Yan ang katotohanan. Hindi ba pagsisinungaling yan? No. It's not lying. Totoo na you're, you're weak, but when you speak you are strong, you are speaking of your destiny. Hallelujah! Amen. Nakuha niyo po sana yun. Nagsasalita tayo ng ating inaharap. Yung mga bagay na gusto nating makita. In reality, itama, you may feel weak and you feel sick, but those are physical facts. But when God's word is the truth, amen, if you believe the truth in your heart and keep on saying on those things, facts and realities will change. And Jesus will back His word in your mouth and all weakness, need, sickness will bow in the knee of Jesus. Bow its knee to Jesus. Amen? And your words will happen and you have that miracle manifesting in your life. Hallelujah! Because sabi ng Romans chapter 3 verse 4, God will never lie. Hallelujah! Kaya nga, sa buhay natin ito, we need to speak our great destiny. Oo, nakikita niyo yung katotohanan, kulang, may sakit, may krisis, may problema. But speak, amen? Speak what you want to see, not what you are seeing. Amen? Sabi mo gusto mo makita, hindi yung nakikita mo. Okay? We have to declare it. Amen? Sabi nga ng Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, I call heaven and earth to witness today against you. That you have set life and death, blessing and cursing, therefore choose life that both you and your descendants may live. You have the power to choose to what you will bring in your life. Pwedeng buhay at pagpapala, pwedeng kamatayan o sumpa, ikaw ang pipili. And one way to choose is you need to change your, what you are saying. Kaya bantayan mo yung mga sinasabi mo. And this is a reminder, mga kapatid ko sa pan, bantayan mo yung mga jokes mo, yung funny words mo, yung habitual saying mo, because if you don't, it can kill you. Amen? It can kill you.
Proverbs 18, verse 20 to 21, sabi niya, ang buhay at kamatayan ay nasa bibig na kasalala. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Kaya you need to be watchful in what you're saying. Kahit yung mga pagkanta-kanta nyo, pantayan nyo rin yung lyrics. Baka may mga lyrics doon sa kinakanta nyo na sinusumpanin nyo ang buhay nyo. Kaya nagiging lalo kayo malungkutin. Amen? Watch those words. Because what you speak, even you have no intention to declare it, your words has power. It's backed by the power of God. Kahit yung mga lililipsing-lipsing nyo, ingat kayo dyan. Amen? Kaya nga, I challenge you today. Hindi ko siya sabing maling manood or what else. Okay, yung mga entertainment nyo. But uh, what I'm saying is, you need to watch the words you speak. Even the words na kinakanta ninyo. Amen? Madalas nung nagka-COVID yung pandemic, siya sabi nga, hindi nga kami mamatay sa COVID, mamatay naman kami sa gutom. Kaya naghihirap sila eh. Hey, wag niyo sabihin yan. Amen? If you want mighty things to happen in your life, Lord, wala mang pagkulan ngayon, pero Lord, sasaga na kami. Magbubukas ka ng opportunity. Magbubukas ka ng pinto ng pagpapala sa buhay namin. You declare it. Choose life. Choose life-filled words to speak. Amen? So, bilang pangwakas, this is God's blessing system. Amen? Itong sistema ito, pagpapala ng Diyos ito. Blessing yan. Yan yung sistema ng pagpapala ng Diyos. At yan ay dependable. Kaya nga, let us take advantage of it. Kaya stop mo, mag-stop ka magsalita ng mga unbelieving words, stop mo yung declaring ng mga curses sa buhay mo, quit saying you are thrilled to death, o yan kita mo, mga, ka, mga you are sick and tired, stop those words please. Take God's word, feed it here in your spirit, believe it, speak it, stick on it, no matter what, and declare life and blessing to your family, to your body, to your ministry, never give up. Kaya nga, two things na nilimayin ko sa inyo. Be consistent in the words, in the word of God. You can say blessing today and say different tomorrow. Kailangan natin maging consistent. Amen? Siya sa'yo, pag darating pagpapala, mamay, nakatalikod ka na. Nako, hirap ng buhay. Hindi pwedeng ganun. You need to be consistent. Amen? Siya sa'yo, magaling ka na. Tapos mamay, siya sa'yo, may sakit ka na. You need to be consistent. Second, what you confess today is what you will eventually possess. Kung anong sinasabi mo ngayon yan, ng isang araw makukuha mo. So, you are a magnet of your words. Remember, you are magnet of your words. Kaya nga today, let us activate the miracle in our mouth, the power of God in our mouth. Your words are important. Number one, move your believing into speaking. Kung naniniwala ka, sabihin mo. Second, renew your words by God's word. Kasi may sasablay talaga yung sinasabi natin. And number three, choose life-filled words. Pag sasalita ka, pilihin mo yung sinasabi mo. Hindi lang puro daldal. You have a miracle in your mouth. Amen? Back with the powerful name of Jesus. Kaya today, I declare, if you believe this and you do this, I declare that everything be, will be well in your life when you speak the blessing of God. In Jesus' name, do you receive it? Say Amen! Hallelujah today! Sana po, babantayan natin yung ating sinasabi ko. Sinasabi, because your words matter. It is life. There is life and death in those words. To God be the Lord today, I will not end this broadcast because without giving you an opportunity to accept Jesus in your life. Kung nais mong tanggapin si Jesus, sabi ko, naniniwala ka sa iyong puso, sasabihin mo sa iyong bibig. Follow this simple prayer na parang ikaw nagpray. Sabi mo to, Lord Jesus, today, forgive me for all my sins. Cleanse me from all my iniquities. And Lord Jesus, I accept you. Sabi niyo ito na maliwan. I accept you, Lord, as my Lord and my Savior. Fill me by your Holy Spirit. Use me for your holy name. In Jesus' name. Amen. If you receive Jesus in your life, naniniwala ko na born again ka. At today, I challenge you to read your Bible, to pray ka lagi, and please, attend ka sa church that will teach you that si Jesus ay Panginoon. And you're also welcome in our church, Perfect Church Worldwide Ministry. Just message us kung saan yung pinakamalapit na church na pwede yung dalo, daluhan. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Today, let us pray. Father again in heaven, thank you for the opportunity to pray for everyone, Lord, who listen this message. I pray, Lord, na munawa namin na lahat ng sinasabi namin ay mahalaga. Today, I speak life 
To everyone who listen in these words, I speak healing in Jesus' name. I speak abundance. I speak blessing. I cancel all curses they have spoken. We ask forgiveness for all those negative words that you speak. Right now, we uproot those negative things in Jesus' name. And we plant right now life. We plant healing, we plant best health, we plant long life, we plant abundance, we plant greater things to happen in our life in Jesus' name. We call it in Jesus' name and it, except we expect it will happen. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you for the words. To you all, the glory, honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for hearing these great things. Amen. Masaya kami. And please... If you're watching right now in YouTube, amen, please don't forget to uh, to subscribe in our channel, Sigaw ng Tagumpay, amen, and click that notification bell. Amen, if you're watching right now in Facebook, please like and uh, share our videos, amen, like our page, Sigaw ng Tagumpay, and our church page, official church page, Prayer of Faith Church. Worldwide Ministries. Thank you for being with us. At mamaya may mga gawain pa tayo. Okay? So, mamaya nga 10, uh, 11.30 p.m. a.m. with uh, PME Jimrel. Okay? Pagar. At mamaya nga uh, 3.30 p.m. with uh, Reb Pastor, group of Pastor Tess and Pastor Joanna. And mamaya 5.30 p.m. with our Senior Pastor Reverend Dr. Alex Nuswell. So, thank you for being with us. I'm happy to share these things to you. Thank you for your time. It's really a, pres a pleasure to be with you today. And in behalf of Perfect Church Worldwide Ministry, ating spiritual director, Bishop Ross M. Nuswell, ating senior pastor, Reverend Dr. Alex Ito po yung link ko, Reverend Dr. G. Nuswell, greeting you. A blessed day. And with my wife, Elisa, and my daughter, Shaleb, saying, we love you so much. I mean, thank you for being with us and hearing this message. And always remember that Jesus loves you and He is Lord. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord.